Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to you the full drop list for this week which is week 12 of the full winter season and yeah, there isn't really a lot to say to be honest we're just going to be getting straight onto this week or straight into this week and yeah, I thought I'd wear a fleece for this because uh, I've had it on for the majority of today anyway but the collar just looks so messed up I don't know how to do it, whether you should fold it or whether you should just leave it up I don't know, in any case, let's just get into this and yeah, go through what we're getting for this week Okay, so to kick off the week we're going to have uh, the Gert Rietveld uh, red blue chair uh, for Cassina, Cassina however you want to put it I probably butchered his name to be honest um, but yeah, in short, this is just going to be a very expensive chair uh, so yeah, if you've got deep pockets, maybe you can be like excited or looking forward to this, but as an overall, the majority of us should probably just sit back and be like, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it be because it's not happening. It really isn't happening. Supreme and their chairs or the chairs that are expensive from them are just sort of out of uh, reach by, by a fair distance in the end. So yeah, moving on from that, we have the box uh, logo, Kawachan, Kawachan, sweater. Again, however you want to pronounce it, uh, this is a hit and miss piece to be honest because there are people who are saying that it will be like limited and it will sell and there are other people who are saying eh, not so much because of how past sweaters have sort of been received with Supreme. So you can look at it from both sides in the end. Personally, I do think it is a really clean uh, sweater. I do like it. The colorways are decent across the board. I'd probably say more so the royal blue or the cream colorway are like the better colorways just because personally for me they just stand out and look better in the end uh, in comparison to the black colorway it doesn't have that same feeling as these two give especially this cream colorway so yeah that's just how I feel that's just my opinion for it I don't know sweaters can at some points with supreme do remarkably well at other points they can break and go below retail which is quite a consistent thing so yeah just be careful, basically, is the way to go about it. Uh, moving on from that, though, we do have the Fofa Reversible MA1. I don't think I've ever seen a Fofa MA1 from them before. If I have, it's definitely not, like, stuck out in my mind. And personally, most of these colorways don't stick out in my mind. The reverse side isn't too bad, obviously, in this case. Nice olive green tone. It doesn't look too bad. But personally, the black colorway is most definitely the standout piece. I do like wintery colors like this being a blue with a white it works so well together and yeah they are tones that do work well when reversed but as an overall the black colorway is most definitely the better one just yeah there's no there's no topping it in the end it is just the best color uh, from the three moving on from there we have a griffin camp cap alongside a loose gorge beanie and a fleece hooded denim shirt personally i kind of like the military look i think i called it uh, when i looked at this uh, camp cap in the lookbook but there are some sides to it where i'm still a bit hesitant because although i do like the black and the olive colorway not so much the military like camo tone i don't know there's something about the material that just might not go down so well in the end and that can just be one of those things. As far as the Loose Gorge Beanie is concerned, it's got several colorways. Most of them do well in the winter time, but the issue is, is that quite recently, a lot of beanies just haven't been selling. They haven't, it, it's plain and simple. They really haven't. They haven't been pieces that people want, nor have they been at the top of the list for most people in the end. Some colorways do sell out across the board, but it's very like minimal. It's not anything crazy. So, yeah, unless it's a really decent beanie, not a lot's going to happen. Even the big logo beanie that came out, I think two colorways or maybe three sold out as an overall. That's it. That isn't really many in the end, sadly. So, yeah, uh, the fleece uh, hooded denim shirt. It's not bad. I don't know how I feel about it as an overall, but it, it's not bad, to be honest. I do like grey tones and the brown tone isn't bad. Black colorway, I think it's just plain and simple, but... Yeah, it's not bad in the end. Uh, we then have a couple of Vance and pieces dropping this week, which is going to be here and here. Uh, we have the Cordura denim jacket and the denim racing pant. I'm really not a fan of it, I'll be honest. So I'll be moving ahead onto the Gons applique zip up hoodie, uh, as well as the short sleeve pocket tee. Yet again, two pieces that I'm not really the biggest fan of, to be honest. Um, I do like Gons, I really do, but I'm just not a zip up person as far as colorways are concerned. I mean the maroon or like wine or whatever you want to call it tone is okay, but more so the cream uh, colorway is just the better one. Pocket tee, I mean, it's a standard thing that we get. Colorways are okay. 
I'd probably just say like the grey and the olive would be my two favourites alongside the front like red tone yeah that's about it uh, yeah Vanson I don't know I'm just not a fan of the Cordura stuff that they've released for this so yeah we can then move on to the Alpine beanie it's not bad it's quite decent to be honest I probably would have bought the green colorway in this over the rose one that I got for like a Christmassy look just because it does stand out a bit more and it looks a bit better so yeah but that's just one of those things uh, we then have the tag hoodie a lot of different colorways it's quite a unique thing on it but eh <laughs> you know it, there's nothing that's going to make it stand out compared to a lot of other hoodies that we've had this season we then have a collaboration this week which is going to be uh, PIL or P-I-L being Public Image uh, Limited uh, if you don't know they're an English band and I'm pretty sure they were in the news quite recently, not the band as an overall, but because one of the founding uh, members actually passed away, which is very sad um, to obviously read about. But yeah, the timing for this collaboration is, I think it it was like a day after he passed is when uh, Supreme announced this. So yeah, one of the pieces is obviously going to be the uh, Live in Tokyo tee uh, with Johnny Rotten or Johnny Linden uh, on the front. And yeah, it's one of the pieces that I think a lot of people in the end liked or like as an overall. But other than that, a lot aren't really too much of a fan of the collaboration. But I think in the like baby blue tone, black or white, it's just a nice simple piece. But yeah, we then have a Wombat beanie dropping this week. It's not really my favourite. The colourways are a bit out there for me. So we can move straight on to the nylon flight pant. Uh, yeah, it should fly away from this. Please do. Uh, we then move on to all of the peel pieces in the end. Obviously we've got the trench coat, the other tee, the baseball top, sweat short shirt and the five panel. Yeah, I mean, I do like the sweat short, I'll be honest, because they don't really tend to release them during winter time and the shirt as well and the white colorway reminds me of the White Castle collaboration. But other than that, I'm not really a huge fan uh, of the rest of the pieces. It's sort of just a copy and paste uh, like job or effort that's just gone on across it. I still want to see, was that, so they are pins, so yeah, I'd expect them to include these pins with the pieces uh, specifically, because that's just one of the things that Supreme have done in the past, when they've released some items that show pins on them, uh, usually they do include them specifically and exclusively to that item, but yeah, as an overall, I mean, the collaboration's simple and easy, the only piece that probably has a bit of effort to it is just going to be the T, and that's just a photo. You know, to say that's effort compared to the rest is a bit sad, but yeah, there's not much we can really do for that. But yeah, that is going to cover this video anyway. As per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, whether or not your items from last week, if you picked anything up, arrived. Other than that, if anything else you've bought recently has arrived, let me know. And yeah, that is basically it. So I'll probably go over Palace tomorrow, I believe, because they've got a collaboration this week. I don't know if they're releasing anything else alongside that, but yeah last week was a bit disappointing because of the fact of like the retail prices but they are understandable in the end um yeah so anyway that is going to cover this video though i hope that you have a good rest of your day and i will see you all next time peace